Welcome to another video from Android Beast. So in today's video, I am going to show you how you can play games on Xgear WinLiter and Box64 using on-screen touch controller with the help of Input Bridge app. So this makes the gameplay look cooler. At the same time, it makes the gameplay lot easier as compared to uh, the default keyboard that is uh, available with the Xgear. So let's begin with the video. Okay, so you need to download this file called as input bridge you can get the link on the description or on the pinned comment so after downloading that a uh, file just open the file and you will find four things first one is the input bridge app and second will be the profiles and third will be installer and four will be the icon packs so profile will contain the pre-built config controller configuration of games and installer folder need to be uh, put inside the exeger folder on your internal storage so let me show you just copy that go to home go to internal storage search for exeger folder simply paste that on this particular folder okay now again go to input bridge folder now click on input bridge apk and simply install that apk with your default package installer so it will show a warning just ignore that and install anyway okay so it's successfully installed after successfully install just open it and just give the permission and click on back so after you open the input bridge app you will see this kind of interface so here you will get the option to import the pre-built controller configuration of different games so let me show you how so for that you have to click on import uh, go inside the input bridge folder and there you will find another folder called as profiles so inside the profile folder you will find a bunch of uh, game configuration file so i am selecting paste.ibp for now and you will see the message pop up says profile imported successfully click on close uh, now here you will see a option called as open icon manager click on that option so uh, click on install and you have to go to inside the input bridge folder again and you will see a folder called as icon packs click on that and uh, just select the chicky.ipk after that you will see that the icon will be enabled click back uh, click on this option and make sure you check this enable x input uh, option after that you have to check this so control when connected option that's it your input bridge configuration is successfully done simply you have to minimize open execute app okay so, so after opening this again you will have to you have to go to the installer folder that you have just pasted on the exagir folder and here you have to first click on install.batch and after that you have to click on ib.x okay after you click the ib doctor just minimize this uh, window and you will in the top right corner you will see a setting icon click on that and boom you will see that our icon has appeared and now you can hide that icon you can use that icon and on screen controller to play any games so thank you guys